Hello, Earl Pugh here uh, with Guitar Practicing 4. Uh, today we are in the key of G. We'll be in 4-4 four, four time. Um, if you haven't uh, watched them uh, yet, please watch Guitar Practicing uh, 1, 2, and 3. They give you some, uh, some background. Um, uh, videos 1, 2, and 3 were in the key of C. Uh, the key of C uh, used open strings and uh, notes on frets one, two, three. Um, so uh, it was, uh, uh, we used uh, the same finger as the fret number. So when we played C, we played it with the third finger. If we played this C, we played it with the first finger. So the fret number and the finger number were the same. Uh, we're in the key of G today. So uh, we will have uh, F sharps. There'll be one on the sixth string. We'll play it with the second finger on the second fret. There'll be one on the fourth string. We'll play it with the fourth finger on the fourth fret. And there'll be one uh, on the first string. We'll play it with the second finger on the second fret. So I uh, urge you to uh, use four fingers as opposed to moving or stretching. Um, if you look at sort of how your fingers lay out on the guitar, you know, sort of naturally, uh, it, it's kind of a one finger per fret instrument. Um, so um, we want to take advantage of that. That will make the fingering easier. Um, you know, uh, there's certainly times when uh, you want to stretch or slide or move, but uh, for the purposes of this, let's uh, stay, stay in one place. Uh, we're going to take a, a metronome. Once again, a basic metronome that goes uh, click, um, not a uh, drum machine. Uh, we want to use it just, just to tell us where quarter notes are, and then it will tell us uh, where half notes are or off beats are. So we've got it set at 60, and uh, we're going to play uh, G scale using quarter notes. First, you should get your foot tapping. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. go lower. G, F sharp, E. Now we'll do a straight eighth notes. Triplets. One, two, three, four. So please, please notice that, that my hand and my foot and the metronome all agree. So when we played quarter notes, the foot went down, the metronome clicked, and the pick went down at the same time. Three, four. When we played eighth notes, uh, it went down up. So I'm counting the eighth notes one and 
two and three and four and and the pick is going down on a number and up on an and one two three four one and two and three and four and on the triplets uh, we're going to end up with two downs in a row because we want the pick and the foot uh, to go down at the same time. So it'll be down, up, down, which is counted one triplet. So it'll be a one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now we're going to do uh, swing eights. Uh, swing eights are like the first and third notes out of a triplet. So instead of one triplet, two triplet, it will be one triplet, two triplet. So kind of long, short, long, short. One, two, three, four. scale with with those uh, swing eighth notes and we'll run the whole scale with straight eighth notes one two three and four and Have had you run the whole scale with with triplets one two three triplet four triplet now we'll we'll do 16th notes the 16th notes the primary rule is is down on a number so we're the foot and the pick are agreeing, but 16th notes are one E and a. So down on a number, up on E, down on and, up on a. So the 16th notes, um, the ands are different than the eighth notes. Um, one, two, three E and a, four E and a. great temptation to um, to start with a metronome faster that uh, if you've been playing for a while this sort of seems uh, too easy you can already do this uh, that's okay um, we want you to do it very precisely but slowly um, it's 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 more difficult to play slow than it is at a medium tempo it gets more difficult again when it gets fast but the medium tempos are easy so uh, please don't be afraid to play this slowly. Now, um, now I I really I hate to tell people to play scales. You know, it's uh, it's just uh, not that much fun. So I'm going to try to make this a little more fun. We've got a couple exercises here. So um, the first exercise um, is going to sort of skip every other note. So we'll play a G, and then a B, then an A. And then a C. So this is a an eighth note exercise. I'm going to play it using straight eighth notes. 
this is exercise one on the uh, on the um, on the page that says G scale at the top. One, two, three, and four, and. And then do the next octave. Two, three, four. And you might want to move for that high note. Okay, now you should play it going back down. Two, three, and four, and. And then the next octave. And um, exercise two is a is a triplet exercise. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. There will be groups of uh, three uh, eighth notes or three note groups. Uh, so G A B, and then A B C, and then B C D. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. And then back down, two, three triplet, four triplet. Once again, the idea was it's um, is to keep keep the pick in sync with the foot. It's very tempting to go down, up, down, up, down, up. It's uh, more efficient, um, but then the pick isn't agreeing with the foot. So if you get off, uh, you don't know which way you're off. This way, uh, everything is lined up. It's like it's on a grid. Now, um, exercise. So we had two note groups. And three note groups. Now we're back to straight eighth notes, but this is a four note group. So we're going to go from a G to an A to a B back to a G. And that was one four note group. And then we'll start on the A. So the first note and the last note of each group of four notes is, uh, is the same. Once again, the, the pick and the foot and the metronome, they're all agreeing. One, two, three, and four, and. And we'll do the next octave. Two, three, four. should go back down. So this, um, um, you know, thinking at this from a, a, a theory standpoint, you know, if we have a, a G chord and we go G, A, B, G, notice that uh, the G note and the B note were both in the G chord. So this, that little lick will sound great on a G chord. Um, if we had an A minor chord, 
the, uh, the uh, A and the C are both in the A minor chord. So uh, that would sound great over an A minor chord. It would also sound great over a D7, because the D7 has an A and a C. Um, so so these, these little four note groups are um, kind of implying chords, and de depending on um, uh, whether you have the first note be the root or the third of the fifth, you know, these will fit uh, many different chords. So um, uh, we've got a song here that's going to take these four note groups and uh, fit them over chords. So the song is a Blackberry Blossom. It's, a, it's another fiddle tune. Um, it does have uh, just a little bit of, uh, it has a couple accidentals uh, when we're on the A chord. We'll, we'll play A, B, C, and then a C sharp. Uh, that leads us into a D. Over the D, we're going to play a D, an E, uh, an E sharp, and then an F sharp. So um, the measure where it goes from A to D, two, three, and four, and... So we get a little little chromaticism. It just makes it uh, a little bit a little bit bluesy. Um, now um, we can uh, also, uh, out of this four note idea, we could we could uh, flip where the jump is. We could jump first, and so this song is going to do that. Um, so on the G, we're going to go up two, three. So you can see it's this this um, we've taken this one little four note group, but we can play it going up, or we can play it going down, um, or we could jump first. So Blackberry Blossom is going to take these four note groups and uh, and use them, but um, the first note of each group of four is a descending G scale. It's going to go from G down to F sharp, down to E, D, C, B, A, and then it will go back up and it will go down again. G, F sharp, E, D, C, then we'll go back up. One, two, three, four. F sharp, E, D, C, B, section we'll go over next time. Uh, the B section goes to uh, the key of E minor for um, six measures and then kind of sneaks back over to uh, G. Now I urge you to get this uh, smooth and even at uh, 60 and then go to 70 and then go to 80 and once you have it at 80 
to sound a lot more musical as we speed it up but but play it play it slow first and get it even um, then we set the metronome back to 40 and you should um, now uh, play all the play all the exercises again with a metronome clicking on the two and the four three four one two three four Uh, at 160 quarter note equals 160 and the metronome is clicking at 160 one two one <laughs> watching the video I hope you've enjoyed it hope you've uh, learned something uh, please take these uh, four note groups and apply them to other songs and other styles uh, this this uh, way of uh, uh, looking at it that if the first note and the third note are in the chord uh, will work in any style it will work on giant steps so um, give that a shot um, hope to see you next week we'll uh, talk about uh, the B section of Blackberry Blossom Come on. Great.